buildings are a real problem throughout the metro. And today, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plague shows us how a new law will make it easier to hold property owners responsible. I spent at least 30 minutes trying to track down the owner of this property, which is unsafe to occupy, as you see in the sign right here. There's some good news with this building I'll tell you about in a second, but the new law will reduce the paper trail for independence when other owners aren't so responsible. The LLC that owned this former surgical center let it sit as an eyesore for more than five years. A new Missouri law will force LLCs to register the name and number of a real person, a tool for the city to get compliance. It's going to be kind of a, a great morale builder for our staff um, to tell the citizens something other than that's it, we can't do anything else. Out of the 8,000 code violation cases in Independence, about 2,000 of them are LLC-owned properties. When 41 Action News first interviewed with the city, they didn't know who owned the building because it wasn't time for the quarterly review of unsafe properties. We're hoping to get more action out of these LLCs, um, specifically the ones that are local, that have a local person that can come meet us on site and explain what's going on. At the tone, please record your message. 41 Action News did some digging and we found the owner, Potch LLC. Developer Chuck Cuda bought the property at the end of May and says he plans to meet with the city in two weeks. It's been a grind for the six weeks that, that we've owned it, uh, but you know, hopefully we're going to start construction soon. Cuda says the new law would have helped him buy the property faster. you got to go through uh, you know, Secretary of State records and registered agents and whatnot to try and find the proper person as to, as to who actually owns the property. So, uh, yeah, I think it would be great you know, for it to be a little more transparent. Something that'll soon happen. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.